Hey guys, welcome back to Karina MD. Don't cost me. This video has been highly anticipated. So many people have been in my inbox, especially if you follow me on Instagram at Karina2093. Um, cook steam fish, cook steam fish, but call me a little spoiled. I'm an island girl, I'm a Caribbean girl, I'm a Jamaican girl that is so used to getting fresh fish right from the sea, right? So I wanted to get fresh fish. So I will show you how to scale it, how to gut it. You know, but that didn't work out. So I got some frozen snapper, red snapper, my favorite after, well, no, it's my favorite. And then I like parrot and then doctor. Yeah. So finally we're going to cook some steam fish. I'm so used to having fish, like probably every Friday. My uncle, if you're on the wall with on a Friday night, from Peter, we'll go check him out. It's a roast fish, best ever. So yeah, we're finally, we're finally here. So just stay tuned for some steam fish, okay? Our fish clean. You know me, I wash my meat, poultry, every type of protein. So we'll have some lime here. Our lemon, if you have it, we're just going to squeeze it into this water, right? Squeeze it. To cut, this is just to cut the rawness. And as I say, we wash our meat. We'll have some vinegar. We're going to tip some of some of that in the water and like wash our meat. You feel me? fish you have to look at the eye first if the eye does not look like this clear and shiny if it looks cloudy the fish is not good if you pierce the flesh like this and it doesn't bounce back you so you see how it's like bouncing back that means our fish is fresh and nice if you sink your finger into the fish and it just stays there chances are the fish is not good this is already gutted this is already scaled as well, but still, if you buy a fish already scaled and got it, you still have to go over it a little bit because sometimes they miss the scales like right here. So you can just take a knife. You see? I don't know if you can see that. See? So a few scales are still there. And we're just going to clean out in here. To my non-Caribbean friends, yes, we eat our fish. We cook our fish with the head still in contact, but hey, that's okay. So we can just clean out. The insides right here. Hello, hello. I am Red Snapper. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, guys. So you see, this is shiny and nice. And if you want to cut off the head, you can go ahead. But hey, I don't have a problem. I've been eating fish since i was in the womb so i'm fine with it you see our flesh right here is nice and firm you know and we're just going to clean out this one again and then we're going to wash our fish for a second time you can also trim right here if you feel like it and your tail but as i said i don't have a problem eating my fish like this so we're gonna finish washing these and get to it Okay, so now that our fish is all clean, we're just going to take a knife and put a couple incisions to our flesh. So like this, not too deep, you know, just to get a little meat in there. We can put two. And you put it on each side. This is to just let the fish soak up the season, you feel me? I'm just going to take, I have one right here already. I'm just going to... Do the so, do so, do so, and I use that. All right, we take some paper towel and we're going to pat our fish dry so we can season it properly. So, pat it dry, get the other one. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take care of you, babe. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna take care of you. So here's our fish, guys. I'm just going to get to seasoning. So here, I have some Maggi fish seasoning. I'm gonna need a lot in a cause seafood in general, you know, have its own unique taste. We have some all purpose. I'm going to put a little of that on there. And some pink Himalayan salt. Somebody, I'm not get the Himalayan salt yet. Talk the truth. I'm not going to my talk. Sprinkle some of that. And we have some black pepper. I'm just going to carefully, carefully sprinkle some of that like the fried chicken. And rub that in. Oh, take time. Take time. Also, before we go any further, we want to make sure so we season like in here as well. You know, not a lot. Then you know, only put nothing in here. So, some little black pepper. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish up those, but make sure you season in here, okay, guys? We're just going to flip and repeat. Fish season. And don't worry, I cut all my veggies and everything already. So, no cross contamination on this board. You see me? Black pepper and some salt, and just carefully rub it in. You don't want to get cut here, and make sure you rub it in the creases in here because that's why we sliced it right gently. Because fish, this protein is very, very delicate. So just rub it down, make sure you, you know, massage it down. You feel me? Same for our own here. Take some more in here. Take time, can we get cut? If I had some kalaloo, well, when my uncle the roast fish, he put some kalaloo in here. Damn, if I had some of that right now, I'd put it in there. But hey, the show must go on. So remember to season up in here, so okay? So here's our ingredients guys, we got our fish all clean, we have some pumpkin, we have some Irish potato, some carrot, maggi, where's the sponsor yo, some cock soup, I couldn't get any fish tea so we're gonna use this, you can't have steamed fish and don't have crackers and okra which is rich in soluble and insoluble fiber, this is our whole okra look, okra, okra, whatever you wanna say, so yeah, we're ready, okay guys, as I said I could not get the fish tea, so the pumpkin will have to do hey, it's still flavored stock, it will be fine. I, how I start my steam fish, I turn my skillet on, nothing is in it to get the pot hot and I'm just going to mix this stock so it'll be like making stock because cooking a steam fish is cooking a fish in like a little bit of stock, right? So we're just going to mix this out. This is like two cups of water, I'll probably have to add some more water. And then I'm just going to add it to our pot. See our pot is boiling, so we're just going to go in with our pumpkin. I cut them this small so they can cook really quickly, and we're just going to go in with our Irish potatoes as well. And we're just going to cover this for 10 minutes and let them cook. So, guys, approximately seven or eight minutes have passed, and you see how our fork just went through that piece of Irish. Let's test the pumpkin. All right, so the show can so go now, on. I'm just going to add some pimento berries that I had here. I'm gonna add our carrots as well. You can also add your okras here, guys, but my okras that I'm using are soft, so I won't just see it. So we just added our carrots and the pimento seed, guys. The pumpkin is cooked, the Irish potato is cooked, um, basically. Fish takes any, anywhere between 7 to 12 minutes to cook. So we have to get all the veggies ready and everything else so that when we're putting the fish in the last 7 to 12 minutes, everything good and curry, you see me? We're going to leave the okra for the last... These okra, they're not very hard. My father cooks some on the weekend, so I know that. So I won't add them till like the last 7 minutes or so. Like right after we're putting the fish a little bit. And then, and then, and then. So, all right, boom, watch the flicks now. Everything ready, as I said. So, now we're going to add our fish. We're going to add them head and tail. So just make way, make way for the boss. Make way for the boss. You see me? 
make a way. Eran di mas ido. Everything fit. And now we're just going to season our pot. So, I'm going to add some thyme. This one. I'm going to add some red pepper. Some onions. We have some garlic here. Because we don't want the seasoning, all of this. We have some scotch bonnet pepper. We, don't, we, we didn't put it in at first because we didn't want it to like cook out. Cook out. And get ugly in color, lose all its color. You feel me? And left all the flavor just in the liquid. So, just I put it so. We have a whole scotch bonnet pepper here. You can go ahead and add some more salt and pepper, but I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, we're trying to eat healthy over here. So, before we cover it, guys, we're just going to use a spoon, take some of the liquid, and put over the fish, right? A lot of people like to flip their fish. I don't like to do it, I just like to let it stay there and cook. So just take a spoon and put some of the stock on top, right? And I was just going to cover it and leave it for a minute or so. So it's been about five minutes and I'm just going to go in with our okras. Just going to put back the lid over this. So I tasted a little bit of stock, guys, and it can use a little salt. So we're just going to go in with a little bit, a little bit of salt, and all over our veggies over here, so and just take a spoon. Mix that in. Just mix it in, mix it in. Alright, guys, so we're seeing the finish line here. So I don't know if you can see the eyes, but it has gone white and cloudy. That means that basically means our fish is cooked. So a little more there. And if you flake it, you see it's cooked. It's all white. So Crackers time. If you've not learned anything today, you should know that you cannot be mean with the crackers. You just cannot. Crackers can't skim out on it. Like, you, you can't. You cannot. And then now, just push it in the water. You see me? And then we're just going to take some of the stock again. Just look for some stock and put over our crackers. So look for some stock, put over our crackers. I wouldn't really want to broke off with it, you know. But nice and mellow. So another two minutes, not even, probably just one. And we're ready for the road. Ready for the road. Come the man. Come the man. Tidbit for today, guys, is finishing all your seafood with a bit of lime juice. Trust and believe it will make it like taste so good. And there you have it guys, our steamed fish with crackers and okra can be eaten as a one pot dish or served with some steamed rice. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys.